immigration, proper immigration reform, and the Gang of Ocho bill, I think is arguably, now I'm going to go ahead and say it, I think it's as dangerous as Obamacare. And it's not getting a lot of traction right now, because unfortunately the Republicans have learned from the Democrats on how to sell this to us. For the last few months, actually for the last year or so, the Republicans have been working not on coming up with a proper fix for immigration, on how to deal with it, border security, legal immigration tweaks, but what they have been working on and are working on right now. John Boehner is working with Eric Cantor and Paul Ryan right this second on how to sell it to you, how to get it done, and how to sell it to you so they can keep their jobs. That is actually what they're working on. This is, this is not spin. This is what they're doing. Think about this a minute. The Republican candidate for vice president, under a year ago, has been working while asking you for your vote to give basically amnesty to millions and millions of people who broke the law and do not respect America or American values. This is what they have been doing, and this is what they are working on right this second. And the Republicans all across the country are falling. Jason Chaffetz in Utah, who has been staunch conservative, who has been right on so many things, said, well, a pathway to citizenship, some sort of pathway. There's already a pathway. It's the way that all the legal people did it. <clears throat> this is what they're working on. And I'll give you a little insight of how this is going to work. Years ago, when during the George W. Bush administration, they tried to pass amnesty, a bunch of us all rallied and said, we're not going to stand for this, and it got shot down. And they went back and said, we need a new message. So they came up with a fix. The fix was how to sell it to us. No, no, it's not amnesty. They don't say that anyway. It's a pathway to citizenship. And no, no, they're going to have to pay for their crimes. They're going to pay their taxes and pay fines and get to the end of the line, which is all horse crap. None of that is true. It is amnesty. We are, we are forgiving their crime, their misdeed. It's amnesty to get the back of the line. The back of the line doesn't start in America. It starts in every other country where everybody else got in line. <clears throat> They're asking you to forgive that they benefited from all that America has, and that's the, benefit, that's the back of the line? That's not the back of the line. They're not going to have to pay a fine, because how are you going to enforce a fine for people that you couldn't even force to get the hell out of the country? And taxes? They have to pay their taxes. For the years that they've been here, 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever years that they've been here, they have not paid taxes. Their bosses haven't paid their payroll taxes into Social Security. And the Gang of Ocho bill in the Senate says, we are going to wipe all of that out. The taxes they're talking about them paying is going forward, even if, if, if they even enforce that at all. So they're not going to have to pay back taxes on any of that stuff. How is that paying your taxes? <laughs> So you and I gave up our jobs for them while they were working under the table, didn't pay their taxes, and now we're going to make them citizens? No! Is that somebody you want to call your fellow American? No! They're only part of the problem. Now you got the businesses. The businesses that have been employing them for years. The Gang of Ocho Bill says, we're going to grant them amnesty as well. We're not going to say, pony up that check for $150,000 for this guy who's worked for you for 10 years for payroll taxes that you know who's making up the slack of? You are, and me. They're gonna end up getting social security and other government benefits, and that company is forgiven. They're not gonna be able to prosecute them for hiring and harboring illegals in the past, and they're not gonna be able to prosecute them for not paying the taxes for that person, not withholding and not paying them. They get amnesty with, as well. The illegals are going to get amnesty with this. The companies that, that did the wrong thing. Meanwhile, you got a lot of local companies, good people that are doing the right thing. You're suffering because that person hired cheap labor and screwed you and your company. So those companies get amnesty. The Republican Party gets to look at like they're sensitive to different minority groups. And the Democrats get 12 million undocumented Democrats to become legal. <clears throat> Here's how it's gonna roll out from the House of Representatives so you can be informed. They learned, they heard people like me say, why is this one issue? It doesn't need to be comprehensive. We can get border security done tomorrow. That's not the contentious part of this. Put a, put a border security bill in place, pass it. They could do that. Then you need some tweaks to legal immigration. 
hey, I understand. It shouldn't cost $20,000 for somebody to legally immigrate to America. If you've got the right ideas and right values, if you're willing to come in the front door, work hard, swear allegiance to America and forgive all others, if you're willing to do that and work hard and be part of that American dream that we all recognize is so important, it shouldn't cost you $20,000. We want to keep smart people that are educated here. Fine, we can make tweaks to it. That's a separate bill. I don't have any dispute with that. Is that a problem for you? What's the problem for you? The illegals that are here. So they are going to split these up into at least three bills. They will have this dog and pony show over the next couple of months. They will present it to you as we've got these different bills. We're going to separate it because that's what you called for. When in actuality, they're only going to put forward the one that deals with the illegals. And during the process where they combine it with the Senate's bill, they'll eventually just throw out the House bill, take the Senate bill, make some tweaks. The Republicans in the House, like John Boehner, will be able to come out and say, um, no, 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 what we did is we, we said it had, they have to be here longer. It's not going to be 12 years before they can become a citizen. It's going to be 15 or whatever they put into it. See, we made it stronger. That's going to be their excuse. They are not working on your behalf. They are working on their individual behalf and on behalf of the Republican Party. That's what they're working on, and that's what's coming this fall. And that's why I'm here today to tell John Boehner, no vote on illegals. No amnesty. <laughs> Folks, my family, and I don't talk a lot about this on the air, simply because I, I don't like to play this game. I, I'm not politically correct. I, I don't care. I, I call people as I see them. If you're a good person, you're my brother. If you're a good American, you're my fellow American. I don't play the PC game, and I don't talk about it because I don't want to come across that way, but my family is about as diverse as you get. I mean, name a, a race, and it is represented in my family, and I'm not exaggerating. In my immediate family, uh, black, Hispanic, Asian, they're all represented. Some of you that listen from time to time may recognize, um, I, talk, I do talk about this. My wife is, is Asian. She's Korean. And I met her a few years ago and found out her story. Her story was her mother was a single mom in South Korea. My wife at the time was, was five, six years old, and her mom said, I don't want you raised here. I want you, to I want you to be raised where you can have the strongest foundation to be the best person you can. And she said, that, that place is America. This would have been the early 1980s, and she said, those are the values I want you raised with. I want you raised where you have opportunity to go to school and around good people, hardworking people, who are moral people. And she immigrated with her daughter here. They didn't speak a word of English. She would sit with her daughter in the back of her, her elementary school classes to try to learn English. She went to the school and said, can I just sit in the back? And, and she, that's how she learned English. And she worked and raised her daughter, went to the University of Virginia, and now is a news anchor in, in Dayton, Ohio. If it wouldn't have been for this legal immigration process that she fi followed and did the right thing, I would have never met my wife, one of the greatest influences in my life today. Her mother now lives with us because that's the value she brought with her. See, it's not just about saying no to people who've broken the law. It's about saying no to people who've broken the law that don't have the right values. See, America needs that influx of immigrants, not just for work and, and economics, but we need to be reminded what America means because we get fat and lazy and we take the flag for granted. We take it for granted every day because we're not faced, generally speaking, with fighting in the streets and a government that's coming and cutting your head off and everything else like other people do. And in the past, that's what people used to do. They would say, I recognize the bad. Who has the right way forward? And they would look around. They would see that shining city on the hill. They would see that Statue of Liberty and they would say, that's where I need to be. Not because they didn't love their flag, their culture, their history, or their country.